Hey guys, it's me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon weather update. First stop, my bullseye steamboat here over the last six, seven days. Uh, basically almost four feet of snow up there on top of steamboat. Uh, Buffalo Pass, uh, just north of steamboat, almost five inches of sweet, snow water equivalent. So you're, you're looking at 50, 60 inches or more of snow up there on Buff Pass over the last six, seven days. So an incredible, very efficient northwest flow. Um, had pivoted right over the top of the northern mountains of Colorado. I talked about this for days on end, and now we've seen the results. We've seen the big snow out of this, and you can see the storm total all the way up to the sign uh, at Steamboat. Um, let me just uh, quickly go over my bullet points here. Um, so we're dealing with an Arctic front out west. That's the whole pivot, the Arctic front coming south, very cold. Now we're going to enter a quiet period on 2-1 through about 2-4. Not much is going to happen unless you're up in the Pacific Northwest, uh, Baker, Whistler. I'll show you that here in just a couple seconds. And then we're going to get a storm system that comes back into the interior Rockies, um, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, and 2, 8, with probably a foot or more for the Tetons and the Wasatch and Colorado will get snow as well. So all of that will come up. Uh, we'll look at all that in my forecast here today. All right, so back here, let's go to um, this. So this is visible. <clears throat> And there's a lot of interesting things happening here. Let me just mark them. So we've got a uh, big low kind of dropping through the interior with the Arctic front. There's another big low up in here, another one behind it. So all this is riding this jet stream. There's a big trough with all this Arctic air. And I'll just mark the Arctic. There's this Arctic front dropping down through. So. Um, <clears throat> The cold air combining to help to kind of intensify the snow ratios, increase the snow ratios, getting some really good efficiency with this setup. Um, well, eventually what's going to happen is this high pressure will come back, which is somewhere in here. And a quiet period will set up with all of these lows being routed up into the, the BC area and the Pacific Northwest, Baker, Whistler. Those areas for a while will get most of the snow. While the interior Rockies, after this high moves back in, 2-1 through 2-4, will be pretty quiet. Then the pattern will break again, and this low will come in and help to uh, reestablish a storm track across the west. So uh, stormy, cold now, quiet period, stormy again after 2-5, uh, so on or after 2-5. I wrote about it on my blog here this morning, chrystomer.com, take a look at it, snow forecast through 2-8. Um, I want to do also, this is a pretty cool update from my video of yesterday. If you haven't looked at it, the link is right there, it's pretty cool. Um, I was looking at Steamboat, a, st a, snow, a patroller came in at Steamboat and was shoveling. I mean, it, it is up to the guy's waist. It, well, anyway, he emailed me, saw the video, John Nesbitt. Um, so go in there, take a look at the video. It's pretty cool. Um, I looked at Steamboat, some of the stats on how much snow had fallen each day. Um, I looked at Buffalo Pass. I looked at the current setup, which we just did. And then I looked at the forecast pattern. Let me show you what this looks like, full. So this is 27. So again, on or after 25, low pressure swings in, brings snow. You can see the result. Look at the the trough swinging through Utah and Colorado, Wyoming, northern New Mexico on 2-7. Um, and it, um, I even looked at that on my blog. Um, I looked at 2-8 as well. So by 2-8, it's further east. And then there's a high pressure at that point sitting over California. So somewhere 2-5, 2-6, 7, 2-8, low pressure swings through the interior Rockies and brings some nice snow. Um, let's look at the forecast as far as... Um, forecast radar satellite. So there's Tuesday morning at 6, the rest of the storm dropping out of Colorado. Then a quiet period settles in with most of the action hitting BC and then the um, Pacific Northwest. There's Saturday morning at 6 right there. That's 2-4. Not a lot happening there. Uh, there's the end of 2-4. There's a little disturbance that slides through the interior, but there's not a lot to it. Uh, it'll bring some light accumulation. Let me show you that one more time, detailing the day. Tuesday morning at 6. Wednesday morning at 6, Thursday morning at 6, not a lot happening, and then Friday morning at 6 right there, um, and then there's a little disturbance that kind of moves to the interior there on 2-4. There's not a lot with it. The bigger storm system will come on or after 2-5. I also took, took a look at Mount Baker. Um, it's got a nice stretch coming up with a slug of moisture, 2-3, 2-4, 2-5, and 2-6, and then I went into my forecast totals, so let's do that. All right, 
All right, rest of today through the first. Leftover snow in Colorado, obviously, with that Arctic front dropping through. And then it's very quiet. You can see low numbers across a lot of places. Um, so here is 2.2 two through 2.8. The big numbers return. Now, most of this is 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 in Wyoming, in Montana, in Utah, and in Colorado. Before that, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, that's, that's the West Coast, that's California, that's BC. The big numbers like I was showing you earlier in, in Baker and in Whistler come 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, and 2, 6. I've got a couple specialty maps here. Um, for the Wasatch, again, remember this comes 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8 probably one to two feet for Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon, and including bright and solitude out to Snowbird, and less as you hit Park City Canyons and Deer Valley. Um, all right, let's look at specialty for the central and northern mountains of Colorado. This is 130 through 28. A parcel of this is happening now, and then the next batch comes on or after 25, 26, 27, and 28. And one more stop up in the northeast, all the way through the 8th, not a lot happening here. A couple or three fast clippers with light snow accumulation, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here on this afternoon update. Always appreciate it. Take care.